All right. Wait. This was the water left over from the Mitagoroshi, uh, <laughs> the Mitagoroshi episode I just filmed. Should I grab another one, or... No, I, the prologues are usually a lot shorter for Umineko, so I don't need another water. I'm just gonna go dry. <laughs> I'm going dry with this episode. No, don't don't play the opening. Please, wait, don't, don't play the opening. <laughs> We're probably gonna see it already. We're already probably gonna see it once we get to the episode. So, yeah. Let's just begin now with episode 3 of Umineko no Nakakorimi, Rondo of the Witch and Reasoning. Yeah, episode 3. Uh, what's episode 3 again? Um, oh! Episode 3, Banquet of the Golden Witch. Good morning. This is a surprise that even now you do not surrender. The Golden Witch has exceedingly high expectations of you. Have you perhaps also come to realize the structure of this world? There can be no victory without knowing the rules. Please enjoy a Hurtly game with the witch. The difficulty level is fair. Fair for you, and fair for the witch. All right, it's time. It is time for a new game. I'm, I'm actually kind of at the edge of my seat. This story is undoubtedly nothing more than fantasy. It could not possibly have any relation to real persons, organizations, places, or events. I would hope. White Shadow. Oh? Is that the house from the title screen? Whoa. Huh. The Voss was very, very beautiful. Rich with history and value. Even as young as I was, it still forced me to take a deep breath when I witnessed its beauty. Of course, it was one of Grandfather's favorite collection pieces. Hmm. So that I didn't accidentally destroy its fragile beauty, I was always strictly ordered to never touch it. But that just made me want to touch it. You could almost see right through it, and yet it was so elegant. It appeared so weightless, and yet it had an indescribable precedence. I wanted to see what it felt like to touch a vase like that. However, just as Grandfather has said, it was something that must not be touched. This much beauty arises precisely because it must never be touched. It was a beauty that could only dwell in something so fragile it would break at a touch. Which is exactly why, if it were to be touched by my impudent finger, it would oh so easily... Just like an enjoyable morning dream fading into nothing as you wake. It vanished, fell, and broke into smithereens. I realized that, because of my own foolish curiosity, I had done something that couldn't be taken back. No matter how much I regretted it, no matter how much I apologized, the broken Voss would never return to its original form. I would probably be scolded by Grandfather. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder who this is. Is this... Kinzo? No, this is not Kinzo. Was he this rich when he was young, and then he lost his riches, and then he regained them? He was a... He was a, you know, distant relative of the main Ushiria family, but... I don't think that's... This is, um, Kinzo. Um, who could it be? Anjo? Is it- is this Nanjo? <laughs> this is Nanjo! <laughs> I would probably be scolded by Grandfather. Probably very harshly. Is this young Nanjo? Frightened, I ended up breaking into tears and sobbing 
If my Nanjo theory is actually correct and this is younger Nanjo, um, holy shit. As I did, I noticed something. Beautiful, lightly dancing golden butterflies were coming towards me. Oh? Is this Nanjo's first, um, sighting of Beatrice? The beautiful butterflies began to gather, one at a time, gl glittering fantastically with glowing golden powder. Oh, it's Beatrice. Ah, that reliable golden witch, Beatrice, had arrived. Interesting. Is this actually Kinto, or I don't know. Sunny spot. You're not Beatrice. <laughs> well, at least the Beatrice we know of. Does she change forms? But wait, is that the Ushiomiya crest on her? No, I don't think that's... Is that the one Hill crest? You just appeared and you already confused me. And this is supposed to be fair for both me and the witch. Um... Is this Nanjo's Beatrice? Wait, is this Nanjo's own algamation created Beatrice? And the one that Kinto had was based off of the mistress, so this must be Nanjo's very own Beatrice. Interesting. The butterflies gathered, one after another, grouped together, and there became her form. She was always on my side. Whenever I was in trouble, she would always appear and help me. Okay, so this is not Nanjo. This is not Nanjo. I hope I gave all, I hope I gave you all a good laugh, damn it. Yeah, this is not Nanjo. この世な絶好のお茶会日和にどうして姫様はそのように涙をこぼされているのですかおじい様が大切にしていた壺壊してしまったのおじい様に怒られますどうしたらいいかわからなくて<笑> それは困りましたね。これはお館様が大層お気に入りになられていた壺のはず。どのような石棺があるかこのベアトリーチェ想像するのも恐ろしいございます。Grandfather <笑> was a very frightening person. And once he told you something, if you failed to follow it, he would become mad with a rage that would make even the fallen angels in hell quiver. I was intimately familiar with that, which is why I couldn't do anything but shake like this and cry. I'm gonna turn down the music because, um,. Wow, the music's super loud. I don't know why, but I keep on having to turn down the music a little bit. Uh, next. Alright. Uh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to turn down the music and effects a little bit. Oh? お信じくださればでございますおお魔法の力の根源は信じる力奇跡はそれを強く信じる者の前にしか示されませんだから
がそれをお望みでしたらそれではこのベアトリーチェにお任せを、huh. When she extended her index finger, a golden butterfly softly landed there, and it and changed its form into our favorite magic wand. Even that was enough to give me a small glimpse at Beatrice's wonderful and great magic power. She pointed her wand at the broken vase, and just like a child's l- lullaby, she began speaking the magic words. This really, really reminds me of what Beatrice was telling Maria about the broken candy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna let the scene play out a little bit more, but I do have a slight guess. But this totally wrecks every single thing I said about this series so far. Or, no, 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 this doesn't wreck anything yet! Why is it this is the backstory of the original Beatrice? But also, that kind of does wreck what I, my previous theories. I'm gonna have to rethink my entire theory about Beatrice. If this is Beatrice herself right here, or this is a false backstory, but no, this is not a false backstory. I think I might have to rethink a lot of stuff I said about the, um, Beatrice being an amalgamation of everyone's wanting to run away. If this is Beatrice right here, then, um, well, this could be the mistress when she was young, but would that mean the mistress had magical powers, or was she the one that, you know, made Kenzo believe in magic? Ah,、uh, yeah, I kinda, I kinda can see now slowly, um, I'm slowly starting to change my mind a little bit. Good thing I didn't say any pink theories just yet about the true identity of Beatrice because, um, that might be falling through right here and right, here and right now. Were they words? Or was it a song? No, it was surely magic. After all, can't you see? The pieces of the vase are gathering together in no time at all, and softly returning to the place where they had been displayed, returning to their original beautiful form. これで親方様にお叱りを受けずに済みますね。Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. ベアトリーチェはすごいね。壊れた壺を直すなんて。そんなことはありませんよ。壊れてしまったものを元に戻すのはとてもとても難しいことです。I'm still trying to think. I'm still trying to think. This is not Beatrice. This could be someone else. But who else could it be? Kumasawa? <laughs> well, Kuma- there is something up with Kumasawa, so. Maybe the narrator is Kumasawa. Is the narrator Beatrice or Kumasawa? Those are the two candidates. Beatrice, the original mistress. Beatrice, the witch we come to know who battles Battler. Or is this Kumasawa? Damn it all! Oh、uh, no. Either way. Yeah, a lot of my previous theories are kind of、um, being changed now, which, yeah, I can admit. That's what, that's actually, I expected this. I expected a lot of my theories to be debunked, but man, it, it still hurts. It still hurts. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. Doesn't mean I'm liking this game any less that I was wrong. No, I'm kind of liking that I was wrong, but this is the point of the game. You're supposed to guess and make, you know, 
you know, you know, try to make your own theory as to what's going on. Like, this is the purpose of these games, which is why they're amazing. Though also, it still slightly hurts when you realize, fuck, I was wrong. But I'm not gonna cry about it because, why should I? I was wrong. And I'm able to admit it. ですがそれは壺が壊れたという運命を回避させたわけではありません。壊れた壺に一時壊れる前の姿を思い出させるだけに過ぎません。壊れた運命を元の姿に修復するほどの魔力はこのベアトリーチェにも未だ至らぬ
壺が割れるという運命を私の魔法ではほんの一時間も忘れさせることができなかったのですから私に魔法を教えてくれたお師匠様ならきっと永遠に壺を元の姿によみがえらせることができたでしょうね、うん、壊れても壊れても何度でも何度でも直せるええその境地に達した時無限の魔力が備わるでしょうそれこそが魔女の達するべき無限の境地私たちはその魔女を最大の敬いを持ってこう呼びます無限の魔女そうです無限に治す力を持つ魔女にとって壊れるという概念はもはや存在しない失うという全ての悲しみから解放され永遠の私服を約束されるのです Certainly, the human world is full of sadness caused by separation and loss. To escape that sadness, people pray to God and ask for the power to withstand the sadness, leaving it to be a test. In other words, a human's life is a journey, searching for a way to withstand sadness. In that case, a witch who could revive all things would be free from all sadness in the world. In other words, it is eternal bliss. I'm a Beatrice, I'm a Major, I'm a Major, I'm a Major, I'm a Major. I'm starting to side with the thought that this might be the backstory of Beatrice. I'm really thinking this could be the backstory of Beatrice, the witch that is, you know, going against Battler. But that totally ruins the thought that she was created through everyone believing that she exists. ああ私そのお気持ちにいささかの揺らぎもありませんかはい Also, okay, maybe this could be a total stranger talking with a younger version of Beatrice or older version of Beatrice But I'm gonna say this now, this is definitely one of the characters This is definitely either Beatrice or Kumasawa That's what I'm going at right now That's the angle I'm looking into this right now Because I don't think Something like that, you know, a random character. Well, a random character could be introduced in episode three. That is possible, but I don't think this is the case. I just have a sinking feeling that this is either Beatrice or Kumasawa. I'm slightly leaning towards more this being Beatrice than Kumasawa because that could make a lot of sense to, you know, to what she became once she became a witch. Maybe. I'm not for sure. I'm just gonna finish the scene. わかりましたでは姫様がお湧きになるまで私の弟子にして差し上げましょう私のことをお師匠様と呼べますかはいお師匠様良い返事ですねではこれからは私と一緒に魔法の深淵を学んでいきましょう私とって修行の身共に魔法を正しく学び至福の境地を目指して頑張りましょうはいお師匠様ああ私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は私は If we're going to anyone. Hmm. We're back at the tea party. Well, which is room, tea party? What, where are we again? The meta? I think people have called the meta. Oh. 
Okay, this that was definitely Beatrice. That was Beatrice. <laughs> that was Beatrice, who was the narrator, most definitely. And um, I'm gonna have to rethink a lot of my theories. <laughs> Damn it. Endless Witch, was it? A name that I had yearned for in the past has the highest achievement. Now just another one of my titles. No, you can even call it a name. The Candles Dance! Sorry for interrupting you. I didn't want to forget the name of the song, but holy shit. <laughs> that scared me. That scared the shit out of me. Every once in a while, it feels nice to feel some satisfaction from that name. <laughs> I shook my head lightly. If it is called the highest level, that means that there is nothing higher. An internal dead end. The beginning of eternal boredom. <laughs> But can you? Eternal bliss means eternal boredom. That's the beginning of internal torture. But perhaps... I know this song. I can hear the motives in this. I hear the motives in this. But perhaps all things depend on your point of view. Eternal boredom is the same as a sketchbook that doesn't run out of pages. It means you can draw whatever you want, can put in as much effort to enjoy it as you want. Boredom is the worst poison that kills all witches. To the great witches that who hold the name anyway. To the great witches who hold the title Lady, this is finally true. It is the eternal poison that tortures them because of the eternal bliss that they have reached. Training has no end. When you think you have reached the eternal level, that is the time to regret your immaturity. As if to answer to my own words, a memory of her saying something like that entered my mind. Some painfully shrill laughter could be heard. It was from my furniture. Did they break their toy again? Glenspear. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're referring to Battler. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! 
As soon as she said toy, I was thinking this better not be Valor. <laughs> Is he keeping on getting killed and then revived to be killed again by <laughs> seven snakes of purgatory? <laughs> oh god! Oh god! まだ私全然遊び足りないのに。情けない男。私なんか全然遊んでないのに。私にも遊ばせて、遊ばせて。お黙りなさい、クズどもが。お前たちが飢えた犬みたいにがっつくから。いくらベアトリーチェ様が直してもすぐ壊しちゃうのよ。サタンネが一番壊してるよ。加減を知らないから。I <laughs> think I did Belphegor dirty the previous episode. I think it was Belphegor I did dirty. I'm sorry. <laughs>申し訳ございませんベアトリーチェ様。グマイドもどうかお許しください。早く<笑><笑> Just from that single yell, the noisy sisters of the Seven Stakes disappeared and hid. They just mess around, having as much fun as they want breaking him. They only come to me to clean up afterwards. Good grief. My furniture doesn't let me get bored. Play. What remained after the peaches of pieces of furniture hid themselves, was just the sloppy mess that was all that remained of the broken toy. It had no form anymore. この座までは、わらわとて元の姿を思い出すのも難しい。当の本人に思い出させるのが一番か。やれやれ。I waved my golden pipe, and I told, I chanted, I made it remember. さあさ、思い出してごらんなさい。あなたがどんな姿をしていたのか。何しろわらわには今の姿は肉の残骸の山にしか見えぬのでな。どれが腕やら足やら。<laughs> By the power of magic, the pitiful pieces of meat began to remember what their form had been. Who was connected to who? Where was joined up with where? That's right. Just like that. No, no. You should be a finger on the left hand. And you, the right hand. That's good, good! Ohayo! <laughs> じつに皮肉な話だがな。わらわを魔女と認めさえすれば、すぐにそなたの悪夢を覚まし、天国へいざなってやろうぞ。
わらわの許しなしにこの地獄より抜け出す方法はないのだ<笑>この程度で地獄かよダメだなああ全然ダメだぜ人ならば一度しか味わわずに済む死の苦しみをもう両手の指では数えきれぬほど与えられたというのによくもそれだけの減らず口を叩けるものよ、wow. I'm gonna be honest here. If anyone were to murder me, I wouldn't mind it being the seven six multiple times. I ca-、uh, you know what? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Dakara koso akinu. So nata ni wa akinu no yo. Ah, zen zen akineze. Nani shiro? そうでなくてはわらわも退屈だ。それ。家具どもなおしてやったぞまた存分に遊ぶがよいありがとうございます<笑>私がいただきだからあんたは終わりよ終わり次は私なのどきなさいよどうマスターキーでジェシカちゃんの部屋を施錠した後どうやって室内の死体のポケットに鍵を戻したというの Oh my god! Is he being tortured repeatedly while they ask him? Questions about what happened in the fire! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you know? You know? I'm. I'm gonna be honest here. <laughs> This is kind of. I'm actually having a lot of fun with, you know, just these scenes of the witches. The s e a s o n of the witches in general, I'm just having a lot of fun with now. I'm, I'm really having a lot of fun, no matter how disturbing they get. I don't feel disturbed at all. I really don't feel disturbed. I actually enjoy them really. I enjoy them a lot. I really enjoy them. So, yeah. I can definitely say it. I'm not disturbed by this at all. I, I don't think I've gotten disturbed by too many things in this game, because this is really fun. Just how fantastical these, this brutal, the brutal worlds of the witches are in this game. It's just so awesomely chaotic to me. Just so awesomely fucking chaotic. いな六軒島に存在する全ての扉は鍵が通り抜けられる隙間などない
Should I begin writing the red truths? Should I begin writing them down or? I'm not gonna write them. Though I am tempted to, I'm not gonna write them right now because I have to go back throughout the entire episode two and write every single red truth. I wouldn't mind doing that, but I'm just, I'm just not gonna write them right now. Even though, I, they should be simple enough to remember, I think. Yeah, they should be simple enough to remember, so I'm not gonna write them. その痩せ我慢がむしろ私たちを楽しませているだけだとなぜ気づかないあいにくだな痩せ我慢と肘の張り合いは俺のお箱なんだお前らがどう俺を煙に巻こうとも俺は絶対に魔女も魔法も認め
限の境地に至った魔女が得る至福の境地とやらなのかなるほどなるほどこれは確かに愉快で至福だ。蘇らせてやる何度でも殺してやるさて次なるゲーム版ではどのような殺人劇を繰り広げようさあ新しきゲーム版を持て次なるゲームを始めようではないか後ろ見やバトラー<laughs> Is it opening time? Yes, it's opening time! Alright. Hell yeah. Now I'm starting to understand a little bit of the visuals of this opening. I'm starting to understand the visuals a little bit. Umirakuro no nakakorni. Alright. That was the prologue to C. We're saving this for next episode. Oh my god. Oh my god, please don't tell me all the boat scenes are like this. Oh fuck, I forgot the boat scenes are so wonky looking. <laughs> ah no! Okay, at the very least, we're not gonna see Gota like this, so that's fine. I'm fine. As long as we don't see Gota with the camera, you know, waving like this, I'm fine because I can, I can deal with the rest of the characters. Okay, Rudolph is a little bit cursed. Now, I'm gonna be honest here, seeing Rudolph move like that is kind of cursed. But if it was like. But with most of the characters, I don't think um, it would be as cursed because, let's be honest here, Rudolph is not that cursed. Rudolph is not that cursed, but fucking Gota, if I see Gota moving around like that, that's gonna be fucking cursed as hell. So, um, yeah. No, Gota's usually not on the boat, I don't think. Yeah, he's not usually on the boat, so... Yeah, he's comparing them. He's making the food, so... Yeah, most well, definitely he won't be on the boat. Uh, let's see the character sheet. Alright, okay, on the character sheet... Oh, I forgot there's a witch's side as well. Ah, wait a second. The ghost. I didn't read the ghost's character sheet. I don't think I was able to read the ghost's character sheet last time. Huh. The ghosts. Low level furniture who wait on Beatrice. They are many in number, but have no individuality and rarely speak. They faithfully obey their master's orders. Closer in sensibility to animals than humans, they are surprisingly stupid and occasionally get their orders wrong. By nature, they have huge bodies like mi Minotaurs and possess incredible superhuman strength. Their low level is furniture, but the ability to summon them is inexhaustibly extremely useful. And that is the goats. 
Interesting. I wasn't able to read their sheet last time, but yes, the furniture. I mean, the seven stakes of purgatory. I, I really like them. I actually like the seven stakes, and they're all making the same face. That's actually really cute. Yeah, at the beginning of this episode, I was accepting the reality that my theories might might have been wrong about Beatrice being an alchemation and everyone trying to run away, though I'm going to adjust that theory so that I'll keep some stuff from it, while also include the fact that Beatrice might be a little bit more than someone who is there to help people run away. I'm not completely abandoning that theory, because you, the people still, t because the characters are still turning to believing Beatrice to run away from their problems. But I'm not gonna 100% state that um, Beatrice is full on the, you know, a being that can't exist if no one believes in her. She would just be weaker. I feel like she would still exist, but I still need to work out that theory. I'm gonna work that out as I'm playing the game because. Uh, I can't make a brand new theory from the information I got, but that first scene, that was definitely Beatrice when she was younger. That was definitely Beatrice when she was younger, so at some point she was a human before she became a witch. That's one thing I'm getting from that. She was a human before she became a witch. Or a split personality was made. No, the split personality angle, I don't even know where that even came from. I was just trying to find a different point of view to get and rather she was a human that became a witch. I was trying to find a totally different point of view, so that's when I thought about a split personality that split away from her when she started doing witch training. <laughs> that's how I got up with that idea, because I was trying to find a thing that could, you know, be an argument against she became a witch over time, as from a human to a witch. I was trying to argue with that, but yeah, split personality, definitely, um... Definitely very creative. I could probably think of something better. I could think of something better. I could definitely think of something better to explain, um, what's going on here. Or an argument against, uh, Beatrice with a human that became a witch. And also, I feel like that was in the early... Might have been in the early 1900s, close to the time when... Or late 1800s, where she then will meet Kenzo when she became a grown woman. And that's when she became the mistress, as a grown woman in witch training. And after Kenzo murdered her, I'm, I'm going from the angle that Kenzo killed her. I'm going from the angle that Kenzo probably killed her it, when she was a human. But she became an endless witch because of her witch training. She kind of still became a witch even after death. But Kenzo can no longer see her because she's now like a ghostly kind of thing. Kind of like how Kenzo is a ghostly mage. No one could really see him except for those who, you know, have magical ability. I'm getting a little bit wild here. I'm going a little bit wild into theory mode right now, for which I should probably just let the game play out play out a little bit before I make any new theories about Beatrice. Before I make any new theories about Beatrice, I'm going to play the game a little bit more, just so um, I can solidify some things. Like, in part 3 and 4, that's when I'm going to say more pink theories, pink truths. I'm going with pink theories, yeah. Pink truths makes it sound... Like, I'm saying, this is the absolute truth, even though it's the truth of what I'm fully believing before the question arcs, I think I should call them theory because they're not the exact truth of what's going on. Even though I'm truthfully saying what I'm really believing with the pink theories. But with pink theories, I want them to say, you know, name theory because I don't want to make it sound like I, this is the absolute truth of Umineko. Like, I don't want to make it sound like I, I'm saying I know the exact truth of what's going on because the pink theories can be wrong. They're just things that I really think thinking that's going on, even though I have no real thing of, you know, proving whether or not they're true, they're just feelings and speculations that I have from the information that I've been given through the question arc. So, yeah. Okay, okay.